Hi, Eloy. I wanted to just make a quick video to explain this rig I just made for this stethoscope so you understand what all the controls are. So this main transform control um, is just to help you place it in the scene where it's going to start out. After that, don't touch it anymore because um, all these other controls will move all the other parts. So, each of these controls has a parent group. Let me show you. So I've got the control, um, the control group, and then a parent group. And that parent group is one that you can use to parent to, like this one, you could parent it to the nurse's head and have that constraint turn on and off. Um, what this one does is if you get it placed right, the top of it will pivot from the ears. Um, these two each have a parent group and you could turn those on and off parenting it to the hand. So we got the thing opens and it pivots and then this one, you take the parent group and constrain it to the nurse's hand. Okay. And um, this, I, as long as you keep it straight, then this listener part will stay straight, but if you bring it off to the side, then it tilts, and I haven't been able to figure out how to fix that, but figure this is only for one shot, so this is probably good enough. Um, and then this piece is just to help you shape the cord, so if it gets kinky like that, then you can take it and just kind of fix it to give the, the cord a better shape. Okay, so that's everything. Um, basically, to constrain them, I don't know if you've done that before, but you would take the, I'll just show you one real quick. So I'm going to make a polygon cube. Pretend this is the nurse's um, head. Okay. So let's say... This is her head, and you get these things in the ears. Okay, so you place it first, and then make the constraint so that it's in the right place. But since I made this parent group, you can actually still move the control after it's constrained. That's why I did that. So now I'm going to take the cube. And then, so here, um, this is the parent group. So I'm going to take the cube and then that parent group and constrain parent. Okay. And now I can move the head. And I can also um, rotate the stethoscope. And then if you want to turn it off, like at the beginning of the shot, um, I would pose this, get it constrained on a frame where it's already in her ears, um, and then go back to the beginning of it. And we're going to have to find that parent group. And you can actually like grab your group and hit the up arrow. Oh, to this. Hit the up arrow and it moves you up in the hierarchy. So here I'm going to turn, like, key the constraint. This is the constraint down here. See? And then You hit S, then it adds it up here to so the blend parent. So I'm going to key it at 1. And then if I want to have it 
um, be zero, like be disconnected, you do it the next frame. So here I'm going to set it to zero. So now watch. If I take the cube right here and set a key on that frame, it's going to connect. Okay, so on that frame, um, there, see how it jumps? So it's parented to it, and then after this, I can just grab the cube and parent it. So just make sure that So if you don't move it, I'm going to find where that constraint was again. So on frame 13 and 14, um, that's when I want the cube to be right here to make sure there's a key. And then we can go like this. And like this. Now watch. Now it's smooth. I just I posed it on that frame, made the constraint on that frame specifically because I knew the head was going to be there, um, and it's seamless. <laughs> okay. Same thing with all the other ones. So you can turn on and off constraints on the hands, the head, and this part. This will move the whole upper part of. The stethoscope, I don't know if you'll need that. You can probably just use, well, I guess you will. You'll need to, so, I don't know. I gave that um, as an alternative to this because it pivots from the bottom. But probably, I'll just hide that. You probably don't need this one. Because it's going to pivot from this top. Part anyway. So there you go. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.